This is your boy Nose Gamer, guys. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how y'all can make coins during the Future Stars promotion, guys, on FIFA 19 Ultimate Team. I'm gonna be showing y'all some sniping filters, some mass baiting filters, and then also some some other trading methods and some other things you can do to be making coins during this promotion, guys. So if you are new to the channel, this whole channel is based on FIFA 19 Ultimate Team trading. I do put out trading videos several times a week, showing y'all how to trade trading methods sniping filters investment guides all different kinds of stuff to help y'all make coins and I also do upload some um, squad builder videos and some rewards videos as well so if you want to learn how to trade and make millions of coins hit that big red subscribe button underneath the video to subscribe to the channel hit that bell icon right next to the subscribe button turn on my post notifications and guys smash a like on the video and then also guys i do play foot champs and i trade live on twitch twitch.tv slash nose gaming that link is in the description go follow me on twitch um, we're almost at 400 followers on Twitch. That's big. Thank y'all for all the follows and all that. So go follow me. And then also, guys, if you have any trading or any squad related or any FIFA related questions, feel free to DM me on Twitter at Nails Gaming. Follow me, DM me, or on Instagram at Deontay Nails. And all you have to do is follow me and DM me on there as well. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But let's get into the video for today. The Future Stars promotion. Um, this is basically, guys, this is a promotion. Um, with future stars so there, there's a there's a, a future stars team and there's people hitting packs and there's different stuff every day um so one method that you can use to make coins and and i'm going to show you all how, how effective this method was earlier so they put out an spc they're going to be putting out spcs every day and this spc required bronze players it required rare bronze players and, and non-rare bronze players but the thing was the rare bronze players were, it made them skyrocket in price because there's not a ton of rare bronze players, guys. It, I mean, you got to think about, you got to think about it. No one hits bronze packs. No one hits bronze packs. So with that being said, there's not a ton of bronze players on on, on the on the game, in general. Um, and so um, with that being said, people were having to go and buy bronze players, and these cards skyrocketed. If you had some rare bronzes, you definitely made coins. I mean, 3K, 4K, all these cards were going for an incredible amount of coins. So two things you can do here um, with that is you can check the, the new SBC that comes out. So if it, if it requires bronze cards or silver cards or even some gold cards, just check the requirements and see what those cards are going for. See, see what those required cards are going for. Check your club, see if you can snipe them because there was a lot of people sniping bronzes. I was streaming, people were saying they were sniping bronze cards for like 200 coins. We listed them for 3,000. So just check. Check the SBC and or just check the SBC when it comes out in eight hours. New SBCs come out at 6 p.m. UK time, and what you can do is you can find the the, the requirement required players, and then you can either snipe them, check your club form, or, or, or mass bid on them, and then you can make coins. Also, you can do this future stars SBC. I'm going to do this SBC in a little bit, and you can have your chance. You can have a chance of packing a, a future star player or, or a really high overall player that is worth coins. So those are two things that you can do. Um, and, and that, that SBC is easy. You get a mega pack from that, so that's not hard at all. And then the next thing you can do is, guys, and, and you want to do this um, during the prime time hour. So between 12, I would say between anywhere from from noon UK time, so 12 a.m. UK time to 12 p.m. UK time. That's the prime time to, to snipe players, um, especially around 6 p.m. When, when, when they release new, um, new stuff like new SBCs, new stuff like that. That's the prime time of the market. That's the absolute peak. That's when there's the most transfers on the market. And what you can do is you can snipe um, these cards. And I'm going to show you all the cards you can snipe, but I'm going to give you an example. Um, so, for example, Keen is a really good one you can snipe. Um, the Silva is a really good one you can snipe. Juan Friend is a great one you can snipe. Um, also, I think maybe even Draxer. I'm not sure. I think Draxer, he's a little bit more on the expensive side. Uh, but definitely Keen, Juan Friend, uh, De Silva. And then uh, Inca Williams might be a little bit. Wow, his card price is insane. Wow, I didn't know he was that expensive. Um, and then um, maybe even some of these 80, 80, 80, 81s. I mean, any, any card over 15,000, any of these informs that are over 15K, you can definitely snipe. Let's see how much Ruben Perez is. He's around 15,000. You can snipe him. Uh, Rodriguez, same thing. You can snipe him. Uh, Dehani. you can snipe him as well. And I'm going to show you all what I mean and how you can snipe these cards the most efficient way. So what you would do, guys, is you go over to the transfer market and you simply type in, let's say, De Silva. All right. So you go here and you, you find De Silva, um, and let's see, I might have to put in his full name, De Silva. Where is he? Where is he? I might have passed him. De Silva. He might. He's a low overall. 
Okay, I can't even find this guy. That's great. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to go to the transfer market. Or let's go ahead, let's do a different one. Let's see. Uh let's do Keen. I think Keen already has an inform. That's why I didn't want to do him. Maybe not though. Michael Keen. Maybe he doesn't have an inform. Does he already have one? I hope he doesn't have one already. Okay, I don't think he does. Okay, perfect. So Keen is perfect to do. So what you would do is you go to the transfer market. Type in Keen's name, then you would try to find his buy now price in around that 40 minute mark. That that 40, 30, 35, 40 minute mark because you don't want to just list it. For example, if you if you look at the 59 minute mark, the cards are going to be substantially cheaper because they're, they're really lit, they're listed right there and people are trying to snipe those cards. But if you look at the 35, 40 minute mark, you're going to be able to see cards that are um, that are a little bit higher priced and, and, and that are going to still sell within the first 20 minutes, but you can make more coins. So for example, and let's go down to twenty one thousand for King. let's go to let's go to twenty one thousand for King and see what's up. Uh, perfect. Twenty one thousand is perfect. He'll sell. Um, he will definitely sell. Um, so what we're gonna do is the goal here is to make a thousand coins off of, off of this King card. So you're gonna have to in include tax. So tax for uh two for twenty thousand coins is going to be around a thousand coins. Um, so you're gonna have to go down twelve hundred and fifty coins because he is. Um, he is um, he's, he's 11 or 21,000 so this would be you're gonna profit around I think around two three 200 coins around 200 150 200 coins so then you would want to go down at least another um, another 750 to 19,000 and at that point you're gonna make around 900 coins a card and then you just snipe 18,000 boom I'm gonna relist it for 21 and it's gonna sell let's see eight how much did I pay for 18 18 5 so we're listed for 21 and we'll make over around we'll make around 1500 coins close to it um, off of that card and it's that easy guys it really is it really is that easy not hard at all to do you can do that for all those informs I'll show y'all one friend I, I hope one I don't think one friend has a special card let's see one friend one friend all right let's see I don't think he has a special card he might though okay he does he has a that's not hard to get around. So for for example, one friend, um, this is a perfect example because I'm gonna show you how to get around it. So for example, one friend, he has his foot champs, uh, foot champions card, and and the way to get around this to just see the informs is, is by doing this. So what you wanna do is you wanna go um, take the minimum buy now price to ten thousand, and then you wanna try to find this. His, his, you wanna try to find this buy now price, and then putting the minimum price at ten thousand. You see how it, it, it circulates out all of those cards, but his inform is not going to ever go below 10,500 because he's an 83 rated. So that's that that fishes out all of those um, that fishes out all of those Champions League cards. So you can just be purely searching for uh, wine friends. So I mean, he's going for let's see, I think it was what 26, 27. Let's see, 26,000. He'll sell 50 minutes. Let's see, let's go down to 27. 27,000 okay so we'll say 26,000 wow he doesn't really have that much of a gap so 26,000 um, and it, this is because it is like I said it's really early in the morning and there's not a lot of cars on the market so 26,000 what we want to do is we want to go down 1300 coins um, so we're gonna go down 1500 so from 26,000 we're gonna go down 1500 to 24 5 and that's gonna put us at around 200 coins profit 200 coins profit at that point so we're gonna go down to at least 2375 and that's going to be around a K close to it close enough to a K um, and you're just going to try to snipe and it, like I said guys it's going to be hard for anything to come up because it is late at night um, so that's how you do it you just do that and then if, if nothing comes up you can go and, and do the same thing and you can try to win them on the bid you try to win them on the bid I, let's see 23 24 minimum so let's see if we can win one on the bid. So what you do is you just bid on these and try to win them on the bid. There's a ton of them on the bid. You can always try to you can always win cards on the bid. 23, I'll pay 23. I can sell them for 26. And you just do this and you try to win them and then you relist them um, after you win them. And that's how that's simply how you how you trade and make coins um, from from those informs. And then you can also invest in these informs in the long term. I'm I'm gonna make a video especially for that tomorrow. So tomorrow's video will probably be that. And I'm going to show you all how to invest and which ones you can invest in these in the long term and explain that for you. But guys, like I said, to recap, you can do this for maybe even Rufier. Rufier, you can possibly do. Uh, I just don't like to do too high-priced 
um, influence because then you're gonna have to pay more like you're gonna have to try to get them for even cheaper because of the tax and then also i mean when you're trying to get cards even cheaper um then you're going to not be able to win as many and there's not as many going up for as cheap and so really these 81s through 83s 84s those informs they're, they're highly like volatile so you're going to be able to get those cards for a good price you're going to be able to consistently snipe them and win them on the bid uh, so for example keen is a good one the silva is a good one like i said juan friend um and then um, these 81s on the bench, 81s and 84s, the Heine, um, I think he's an 84, and then like I said, these 81s, so all these 81s, this 84, the Heine, don't do the 79, He's don't ignore him, and then Keen, the Silva, my friend, but guys, you can snipe all those, thank y'all for watching, like, subscribe to the channel, let me know in the comment section what you think about this video, uh, and if the, you think, if you're going to make coins off the filter, or if you're making coins off the filters, let me know, but it's me, Boy Nails Gaming, thank y'all for watching, peace out.